And so here's the night part of the uh, sodium lamp video, I promise. Got a highway behind here, so sorry about the noise. Um, yeah, I've sort of put it all in the fixture. I've put the ballast and everything in there. Sort of just temporary. Still don't have any nails or anything yet, so just tape the front on. But yeah. Reflector there. On the other end as well with the bulb support. bloody freezing out here so it's probably going to take quite a while to warm up but no. turn it on see it's not really doing anything at the moment I suppose we'll just give it time to warm up and come back out and show it fully bright. I'd say this thing's pretty much warmed up now. Uh, yeah, it's pretty windy and cold out here, so it might not have warmed up all the way just yet, but it's pretty bright as it is. Spin it around. Lights up the backyard quite nicely. It's a bit lighter in real life because the camera's sort of focusing on the bright areas and turning it down. So if you sort of zoom in on here, no, it's not going to do it. Yeah, it's quite bright. if this will show up. Oh yeah. My reflector design seems to be working pretty well. You can see as it as you move it sort of follows the camera. If it cuts off about yeah, about there. So yeah it's a really wide throw. But you can't really focus these things much anyway. Just because the lamp is so long physically trying to move it here. Anyway. Yep. Like I said it's a bit bit of a washed out orange on the camera. It's a lot a lot more orange in real life. So if I turn it off instantly turn it back on again and it'll come back to full brightness. Well, I suppose there's not really anything else to show. Is it running at the night? <laughs> I'll go back inside now. Thanks for watching. thought I might as well just give an overview on my homemade fixture as well. Um, yeah, as you've already seen, it's got the dual reflector in there with the bulb support up there with a bit of foil, uh, aluminium sheet up the back as well. I haven't polished it yet. I'm not sure if I will either. It's, a, it's fairly shiny how it is, so um, my light here. That's where the bulb comes out and it's got some um, sheet on there as well. I still haven't got screws yet, so it's sort of just taped on. So 
Yeah, this is just a single bit. And then in here, we have the ballast. Um, the two leads running to the bulb holder. Bulb holder mounted on the side there. Spare leads running down the back. Um, and the terminal block here. And light's in the wrong spot in this room. So yeah, the bottom, bottom red wire is active, black is neutral and blue is ground. And yeah, I know blue is not really ground, but sort of just the wire I had laying around and it's inside here anyway. It's green once it comes out of here anyway. So yeah, that's just the main input there. Uh, it's grounded down there on the ballast, the blue wire. And also sort of just wrapped around on the reflector at the moment. Um, eventually there'll be a screw through there, which that'll be wrapped around so it's attached permanently. Not really any risk of this going live anyway, and it'll be covered in plastic completely once it's done anyway, so, you yeah, know, might as well do it while it's there. Yeah, still a bit warm from when I was running it just before.